This is the digital music trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with a bubbler. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014 and it's a real pleasure to be here at the French Tech Club uh, interviewing uh, Sophie Hallio, the CMO at the Bubbler. So hi Sophie and thanks for joining us, how's it going? Hi, it's going super well, thank you. It's great, and so what is Bubbler? So Bubbler is a vocal social media, so it's a mobile app from which you can record a bubble which is a voicemail that lasts up to two minutes that you can send privately to a person or a group or make it public for your followers. So the big idea is that voice is the most natural way to communicate. It's very emotional and engaging, but nowhere to be seen on social media or the internet. And so what was the light bulb moment uh, when, when uh, uh, the company got started and you, you thought this was a good idea and you wanted to pursue it? Uh, we actually started to work on it by the end of 2012 and we launched a beta in France about six months ago and it's a big hit. It's very used and very popular among celebrities, politics, cultural institutions, a lot of musicians of course because it's easier for them to talk to their audience, to be able to engage them with their music and their voice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, we are actually starting to internationalize Bubbler. The app is live on the US App Store since yesterday. Great. And we are opening an office in New York in three months. Perfect. It's a great timing, actually. So, uh, so tell me more about uh, you know, uh, the strategy when you started. Uh, how did you start getting the word out about Bubbler and who were the first people you hit? Uh, so actually we had a premium content strategy. So we had influencers recorded bubbles before Bubbler was actually live. And after medias got interested in Bubbler, cultural institutions and brands. And actually as they use Bubbler as a communication tool, they share their bubbles on Facebook and on Twitter and it gets us traffic and visibility and new users. That's great because uh, of course uh, the key thing is that uh, the, uh, the, bub the bubbles, uh, bubbles? Yeah, yeah, the, the bubbles, bubbles uh, are uh, shared on social media and they can be played without having to log into anything. Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. We have an open policy that we want to keep. Everyone can listen to bubbles without, without having a bubbler account. But of course, when you want to record one or interact with the bubbles on the platform, you need to be logged in. Yeah, that's great. And so do you also have like a, a, a response system so people can post their own bubbles as a reply to somebody else's? Yes, it's called a discuss feature. So you can discuss the bubble audio only with your voice and uh, you can reply to the person. That's fantastic. And so on the music side, uh, you know, how, how have you seen artists uh, use them uh, to, to engage with their fans and, and their followers? The bubbles that are working well is, are the one uh, that are backstage concert, for example, or after concert to thanks a fan, or actually like the start of the day, or little songs, little tryouts for songs they're actually writing. Yeah. That's great. And so, yeah. uh, a few examples of artists maybe that have used it in France? Uh, uh, I know that maybe not, not everybody's yeah, not familiar I don't with think, them. I don't <laughs> think they are quite known, but there are quite big artists from major yeah. labels that are preparing their arrival oh, on Bobber. Okay. Awesome. And a big TV show, a uh, reality TV show around the voice that is coming on Bobber pretty soon. That's great. So, let's talk about uh, uh, the, the funding. Are, are you funded yet or are you, are you looking at them? Yes, we are actually just closed uh, our seed funds and we will be looking at our Series A's uh, by the end of 2014 or beginning of the next year that's great and so and uh, looking at the monetization side of things uh, are, yeah. you, are you just growing the platform right now or have you got any any specific plans we actually already have revenues that come from uh, highlighted contents on the platform right uh, and we are actually now focusing on growing the platform growing the number of users but the monetization side is already going on and we actually developed bobber uh, private side of Bubbler for like big companies and it's already being sold in France. Oh great, so it's like a branded experience. Yes, right? exactly. Oh great, so brands can give a voice to themselves and yeah, it's for the it. employees inside the company to talk oh, to them cool. or to you know have the field agents actually communicating by voice because in many situations it's actually much more easier to be listening to something or talking to your phone than reading and typing a long text. 
Yeah, definitely. It's, it's fantastic. Well, it was a pleasure. And it's uh, again, it's on bubbler.com. You should go and check it out. Oh, and finally, uh, one more thing about yeah. uh, platforms. So uh, at the moment, what platforms are you on and what are your plans in that regard? Uh, so we are actually on the iPhone. The preview on Android just got out. So you have a waiting list to access uh, the beta on uh, Android. So uh, it's going live pretty soon too. That's and great. we have the website and we have our first API. So you can actually embed a bubble on your website. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. that's going to be uh, pretty popular, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> thank you very much for your time, and thank you, everyone. And thanks so much for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest. You can find out more on digitalmusictrends.com.